Welcome back to Not To Hear. We will be making some soft whole wheat bread today. It's my first time making whole wheat bread. Let's go. We are starting off by mixing our water with our yeast and then adding some honey, but I didn't have any honey, so I used our great substitute maple syrup. Next, we add in our butter spread. We used that instead of butter for this recipe and followed it up with our salt and flour. The recipe then states that you should mix it with the mixer for three minutes. I didn't have a mixer, so I whisked it around until I thought it looked ready, and then I added the additional cup and a half of flour. We will now move into the kneading portion of the recipe, but first, ooh. When it comes to kneading the bread, I typically get some assistance because, I don't know, my hands are allergic to kneading, who knows. But regardless, I kneaded this for about 10 minutes. You might have needed some more kneading time though. Right after kneading, you just cover it up with some plastic wrap for 30 to 45 minutes. Then you're gonna punch it down into your greased up pan for the same amount of time, cover it up, and right after that, you should be good to go and bake. Hopefully when you're done baking, it comes out looking better than mine, and we'll discuss why in just a second. It wasn't so easy. I had a difficult time mixing and kneading the bread, which probably stems from the fact that I didn't have a mixer on hand. And I think that also played a role into how the bread ultimately came out. It came out a little bit too dense, but more on that next. Because of how dense this bread is, I think if your picky eater is weird on textures, then this isn't the bread for you. You can avoid my issues, whether it's because of the ingredients or by actually using a mixer, I think this could be an awesome bread. I would totally make and bake this again. I really want to figure out what I did wrong. Again, is it the ingredients? Is it the fact that I don't have a mixer? Is it both? I want to make sure that I can make proper whole wheat bread. I do like the taste of this bread. It's very similar to artisan bread. I got to use it in a couple of ways, such as toast, as well as some grilled cheese. If you're interested in the recipe, it's located in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe while you're there. The bread is breading, the cheese is cheesing. He's a little ugly, but he'll do. Join me next time because this is gonna be my new fixation and I'm gonna try and fix whatever I did wrong. I have no idea what I did wrong though.